各位观众，大家好，欢迎收睇廿六分钟见证实录。随住科技发展日新月异，网上骗徒啦，向大众嘅骗取手法变得层出不穷。即使政府部门以及一啲嘅防止诈骗组织近年嚟一直大力宣传反诈骗信息啊，但就仍然有唔少嘅民众依然堕入骗案。根據加拿大反詐騙中心嘅數據就顯示啊，喺去年本國國民代入各種嘅騙案高於五萬宗。咁雖然比起二零二一年係有所減少，但係損失嘅金錢總金額就比起二零二一年高出兩億元。咁究竟受害人又係點樣代入陷阱嘅咧 ？Hello, this is Alice calling from the underwriting department regarding your Discover credit card account. Based on your recent payment activity and balance, you are eligible for an interest rate reduction to as low. It's very profitable. I mean, I think the important thing is to, to understand is that these are professional criminals. Okay,、um, a lot of these scams arise in in countries where there's a high degree of corruption. It really depends on the scam we're looking at.、Um, fraudsters, criminals really prey on vulnerabilities.、Uh, we saw it with the pandemic where they. they You don't capitalize on the fact that people are spending more time online in general. 呢场婚礼可以话系对一对新人嚟讲非常重要，但点会顾到自己所托非人，结果要承受难以弥补嘅损失。Well, very disappointed for sure.、Um, when we first looked at the photos together, we thought that maybe he had sent us the wrong file because these look like photos that should have been deleted from the stack of photos. 居住喺卑斯省温哥华市嘅 Alexa Logan 同埋佢嘅丈夫 Colin Tap 喺去年八月举行咗佢哋嘅婚礼。喺举行婚礼之前，每对新人都希望自己拥有一辑难忘嘅婚礼相。Alexa 都唔例外，佢同佢嘅丈夫当时计划喺史丹利公园拍摄一辑重现自己父母三十年前嘅婚礼相片，但一切噩梦就要由一名为佢哋拍摄嘅摄影师开始讲起。During、um, our wedding, we were very, you know, like there's a lot of、uh, aspects that go into it. So we didn't really do the due diligence to get、um, information about our photographer. Alexa 同 Colin 其后喺网上揾到一名自称系专业摄影师，叫做 Mike Huffman 嘅资料。I saw that he had a recent five-star review. Looking back now, that five-star review was actually his wife just trying to boost his profile so he'd be seen on the the main page. And、uh, yeah, so. He shot our wedding. We thought like everything went well, and then it took three months to get our photos back. When we got our photos back, they were all really blurry, and we couldn't even tell who was in them.、Um, it was really disappointing because we waited so long to see those photos of our special day, and to get something back that was clearly not professional, and、um, you know something that kind of we'll never be able to look back on our day and remember it by. It made us kind of very upset,、um, and then. Also, learning that this wasn't the first、uh, couple he has scammed on their wedding that also made us very frustrated to know that he had done this before, and we weren't the first. And so that's why we really wanted to get his name out there and kind of take it into our own hands, make sure he doesn't do this to another couple again. Alexa 表示，佢依稀记得拍摄婚礼相片同埋举行婚礼嘅嗰一日，呢一名男子嘅行为表现得非常古怪。You know what's really interesting is the other couple I spoke to、uh, said that during their wedding he got way too drunk and started making inappropriate comments.、Um, at our wedding he was much more reserved.、Um, however, when we were in the carriage ride, he seemed to be very interested in talking about how we wanted to start a rock band, and he wasn't taking very many photos. And that was a, a moment that my husband and I were really hoping to capture. So、uh, when we got our photos back, there were no photos of us in the carriage together, which we were incredibly disappointed of, and also no photos of the ceremony itself. So I'm not sure what he was doing during those moments, but he certainly wasn't taking photos, which is what we hired him to do. So I wouldn't say his behavior was inappropriate, but he wasn't、um, doing the job that we hired him to do. 直至 Alexa 向本地传媒公开自己嘅经历之后，先至发现仲有其他受害人。有另一对嘅夫妇亦有相同嘅遭遇。Alexa 形容嗰阵时嘅自己就好似如梦初醒一样。Another、uh, local news channel ran a story on、uh, this situation, and another couple reached out、um, within a week, saying 
they had a very similar story to ours. Um, for example, we couldn't get in contact with him right up uh, before the wedding and then about two weeks out he finally started speaking with us again and I think it was because he was running away from the other couple and trying to keep a low profile. Um, so he told us that he had been in a car accident and that's why he wasn't responding and then he uh, came and shot our wedding. We thought everything was fine and then after the wedding he told us that all of a sudden he had cancer and he was going through chemotherapy which we kind of wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt but after hearing the other couple's story it was almost identical to what he said to them as what he said to us. That sort of backs of people's heads too, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, very disappointed for sure. Um, when we first looked at the photos together, we thought that maybe he had sent us the wrong file because these look like photos that should have been deleted from the stack of photos that he was going to give us. So very confused, very disappointed, and uh, more so frustrated because uh, my husband did, uh, you know, call him up and ask him, you know, what's the deal with these photos? Like, why do they look like this? And he wasn't able to give us an explanation. He said, oh, just pick the ones that you'd like and I'll edit them further. I'm just still in the process of editing. And so my husband replied to him say, could you pick 10 photos that you think is acceptable to show someone from our wedding? And he just completely stopped. Uh,一名男子嘅攝影網頁目前已經被刪除。我哋都嘗試透過佢嘅社交平台賬户留言聯絡佢，希望瞭解有關嘅投訴。但直至截稿之前，仍然未有任何回覆。喺今次嘅事
of how the scam works. And that's why we, our focus is really to push that, that me messaging and education for Canadians. 好像Alexa以及她丈夫的遭遇 為了打擊騙徒作出各種詐騙行為政府以及不少民間團體都成立了不同的相關部門去協助受害者究竟什麼是叫做家居裝修騙案 These are not legitimate individuals who come and, and sign a contract with you, but generally people who show up at your door and tell you that they have a great deal for you, um, perhaps they are offering to repave your driveway or fix your roof because they're in the neighborhood and they've got some leftover supplies. They ask you for a cash deposit and the next thing you know, they've disappeared with your money and they haven't done the work or if they have done the work, they've done a terrible job and you now have to redo it. 在众多的骗案里面当中,这种骗案又怎样在旧年变成第一位? With home improvement scams, what we saw is that when people were, were um, encountered home improvement scams, they were the highest percentage of time they lost money to it. And so what that tells you is, first of all, you know, people are vulnerable to home improvement scams. The other aspect of that is why. Why home improvement scams? Um, you know, with the pandemic, what we know is that there is a labor shortage and it's very hard to find a, a, a contractor you can trust. So possibly it has to do with fear of missing out on an opportunity when someone co comes to your door to get something done that you've been waiting to have done. So you don't want to miss out. 在過去幾年疫情期間,不少人都在家工作,甚至多了時間留在家裡,瀏覽互聯網的時間也都較以往相對多,即使不少組織以及政府都推出一系列反詐騙訊息,呼籲民眾避免代入陷阱,但為何
while older adults are more often targeted, they're not more likely to be scammed. Um, younger adult scams are becoming more and more frequent right now because of their social media engagement. They just encounter more potential scams. Um, we also know, sadly, that once you've been scammed, there's a higher likelihood that you'll be scammed again because these scammers keep lists. They keep lists of people who engage partially in the scam but then say no. They're constantly taking data from us. All right, so once they know that somebody may be more susceptible to scamming, it's much more likely that you'll get on these lists and you'll be targeted again. We've probably, we're probably all familiar with the CRA scams. Um, scammers are getting much better at using technology now, like spoofing te technology, where they can actually change caller IDs um, and come in with a very official looking text or phone call or email. They can change the web addresses to make themselves look like a government agency. Um, I'm sure all of us have had that call. Um, you know, this is the Canadian Revenue Service. You need to contact us immediately. You owe us money. If not, a warrant will be issued for your arrest. That sort of thing has been around for a long time. Um, other scams, the grandparent scam, which I talked about, um, has become enormously popular in Ontario last year alone. We believe over $9 million was lost in these emergency grandparent type scams. Um, cryptocurrency scams have been all the rage over the last couple of years. Um, and then the online shopping scams, um, where the individual is, is you know, tricked into purchasing something that is either of very poor quality or never arrives. And they're just out, out their money. BC 商業促進局喺三月初公布嘅最新數據，亦都顯示年齡介乎三十五至四十四歲呢一類別嘅羣體損失金額係最高。Simonis 認為坊間成日都抱住誤解心態，認為詐騙案只會發生喺長者羣體。I think people often think that scams only happen to the vulnerable, and they often think that scams only hit seniors who will fall prey. But that's not true. Um, our studies show that the monetary loss doubled for that age group of 25 to 34 who also experienced the highest median loss. So we know that scams target everyone. Um, while we don't have data that specifically speaks to how prevalent it is in, in the under 18 group, what we do know is that when we surveyed people who had um, reported a scam, 22% of those people who had people under in the age group who had kids 7 to 18 reported that 11% of their kids had been targeted by scams. So we know scams are targeting everybody and we know scams are impacting everybody. 方婷教授喺研究亦都發現，騙徒敲詐受害人嘅時候，好多時都要求受害者立即作出決定，所以建議公眾凡事三思而後行，就大大能夠避免墮入騙案嘅機會。Unfortunately, we have to be on top of this all the time because the scammers are professional criminals and they just keep getting better and better at what they're doing. So, you know, the obvious things, if you get an email, um, check the email address carefully. Oftentimes there'll just be a minor spelling difference. If there's any misspellings in the email or words that are poorly translated, for example, that's, that's a clue. Um, if it's a bank or a government organization or whatever calling you, hang up immediately and then contact your bank yourself um, using the numbers that, that, are, that, that you're aware of. Um, and it's really important to understand the techniques that the scammers use, right? They're all about, the, the term that the scammers use is actually getting the victim under the ether, okay? Which means they don't want you thinking with your brain, they want you feeling with your heart, okay? And so they will use things like urgency. Um, you have to make a decision immediately or, or there will be disastrous consequences. This is you know, a one-time chance to win the sweepstakes. If you don't make a decision now, the opportunity will be gone forever. They use authority. They pretend to be law enforcement individuals or individuals that, that command respect to create fear and scare you into thinking that you or a loved one might be in trouble and you need to do something right away. 而對於騙徒嘅手法，隨住網絡迅速發展 ，Simonis 認為騙徒犯案手法已經同以前嘅單一手法有所不同。A lot of the scam artists are,、uh, you know, not located, you know, not specifically with home improvement scams, but with some of the other scams that we see on our list. They're not necessarily located here in Canada.、Uh, 
they're contacting um, Canadians through a variety of different means, online, social media, um, you know, through email, through phone. And in those types of situations, they probably do have some sort of script or talking point that they use to try to entice consumers to fall prey to their scam. Uh, a lot of them share similarities, and these scam artists are running their scams like businesses. So, you know, in those types of situations, they probably do have a script that they're following and that they're training their team to use to try to entice people to follow. Uh, you know, they also have at their fingertips the ability to connect with consumers and connect with people. Um, that's why anyone can fall prey to a scam. 事实上，对于打击呢一类犯罪案件，又有啲咩难度咧？方腾教授就表示，好多时候犯罪者涉及境外人士，有时候甚至牵涉唔同国家，因此追查有一定嘅难度。It's very profitable. I mean, I think the important thing is to to understand is that these are professional criminals. Okay,、um, a lot of these scams arise in in countries where there's a high degree of corruption, and so they're not as averse. To using corruption or to engage in those kind of professions where it can bring them wealth, it's also very important to understand that that currently a new phenomenon has, or recently a new phenomenon has, has popped up where a lot of the scammers are actually trafficked individuals, and so we know、um, many of them are, are are actually trafficked from countries like China and Thailand, for example.、Um, To go to other、um, Asian countries like Cambodia and Laos,、uh, they're recruited by promises of,、um, you know, very lucrative jobs. But then when they get there, they're actually forced to pay back an enormous debt that they incurred, as with as with other types of trafficking, and and forced to sit in these warehouses and and scam other individuals. That's their only way、um, for any hope of eventual freedom. Potentially, I mean, to be quite frank with you, I'm not sure what that would look like. I think that you know there should be good dialogue with the telecommunications companies because spoofing has simply become far too easy for these individuals to do. We need better protections in terms of being able to block callers,、um, and so I'm not sure what those would look like. But I think that you know there certainly could be more done in those areas. 好多時候，唔少受害者得悉自己代入騙案之後，都會對自己嘅遭遇感到羞恥。喺呢一個時候，身邊嘅人對受害者嚟講至關重要。咁究竟佢哋又應該點樣做咧 ？I think you know, first off, as I said earlier, we have to destroy the myth that only gullible people get scammed.、Um, we know that, I mean, the problem with being scammed is it's not only a financial crime; it's also an emotional, psychological crime. I mean, the amount of depression, anxiety, suicide increases after being scammed. The the humiliation and and the shame, and the fear that you know what's wrong with me. You know,、um, it can be absolutely devastating. So I think, you know, we need to get rid of, of that myth. We need to understand that we are all vulnerable to scams, and we need to, first of all, encourage the person to report it. So that they can get some sense of power back,、um, report it to their financial institutions, report it to the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre. My tips to people who have fallen prey to a scam is: don't be embarrassed. It can happen to anyone.、Um, feel the power in reporting the scam because by you taking the step to say I've been a victim and telling other people about the scam, you're helping to protect other people. You're becoming a superhero, really. So I would really encourage people to talk about their experience. Now, that's easy for me to say.、Um, I'm not the victim in this experience. So if you're a friend or a family member and you know someone who has been a victim of a scam, and you've encouraged them to report it but they don't want to, then there's nothing to stop you from bringing the information forward. 好啦，今集嘅节目时间咧又差唔多啦。咁如果观众对我哋嘅节目有啲乜嘢意见嘅话，系好欢迎大家以电邮嘅方式同我哋联络噶。我哋嘅电邮地址系 m a g 2 6 at fairchildtv.com。如果观众想上网重温翻今集嘅节目，亦都可以上到去我哋嘅网站三个 w dot fairchildtv.com， 点击节目重温一栏就可以睇得翻噶啦。下星期同样时间再同大家见面，晚安。